Hey guys, how's it going? Kevin Clitter here with a knife video for you. Today we're going to have a first impressions on a Civivi, but before I get to that, I want to talk about a new channel sponsor, Southern Edge Knifeworks. They have sent this Civivi along, and there's a couple of other things that are coming from them as well. Uh, the way it's going to work is I'll have, you'll have a discount code, which is going to be Sharp Stuff. If you go over to their website, listed right here, as well as linked in the description box, you can use that discount code on checkout and save yourself 15% off. I did spend a little bit of time on their website looking through their catalog and they've got some pretty decent stuff at reasonable prices uh, and those prices of course become much more reasonable when you subtract 15%. So I'm not dropping any other channel sponsors or you know abandoning any of the relationships I have. I thank you guys in advance for using this website and, and that sponsor and that uh, discount code. Uh, but I, I will continue to deal with White Mountain Knives and, and DLT Trading and uh, have my Amazon store up. And so uh, I'm happy to welcome Southern Edge Knifeworks to the Sharp Stuff family, if you will. Uh, I've been chatting quite a bit with their owner as well as their store manager, Chad, and both seem like really stand-up guys, and I'm pretty excited to be are able to work with them a little bit. Uh, and, and, you know, I, it's, it's, of course, the idea is that it's a win-win for both of us, but it's also a win for you guys. You get to save some money, uh, but please go ahead and give them some time and attention. It's a huge help to the channel, and to kind of get this going, we are going to do a giveaway. So what I have right here is a Steel Will Tasso Mini. I'll just pop this open really quick. And I haven't got all the details worked out on the giveaway yet, but in the next couple of days, you'll see a giveaway video on this knife. And it will tie into uh, that sponsorship relationship okay so uh be looking for that as i say in the next couple of days once i kind of figure out exactly how i want that whole thing to work and uh get something figured out with them that's what we're going to be doing to sort of kick that off uh, so be looking for that video coming up soon now let's get back to the actual knife we want to talk about and that is going to be the civivi I want to call it the linchpin, but it's not. Let's call it the knife formerly known as the linchpin. Let's leave this guy up here since uh, they're responsible for getting this knife out. All right, so we've got typical Civivi stuff here, uh, pouch, stickers, microfiber cloth, paperwork, all that stuff we're used to seeing. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that, but I will spend a little bit of time on this. This is interesting for a couple of reasons. First of all, you don't often see Civivis quite this size, and it's also using a different G10 pattern. Now, otherwise, okay, this is fairly typical Civivi stuff. We've got D2 steel up front for the blade here, liner lock on bearings, really, really, really nice action. Uh, this is one of the nicer actions I felt on a Civivi, and part of that just has to do with the weight of this blade. This is not a small knife. In fact, we got a fairly substantial chunk of D2 steel here. And that does make a difference. The other thing I want to show you just as we're kind of dealing with first impressions here is this knife, yes, can be spidey flicked quite nicely. So uh, really, really quick rundown on materials here. So we've got a flat ground D2 blade here in satin, which I love, uh, bearing pivot on this guy, uh, stainless steel liner lock, full G10 backspacer, lanyard hole, and a deep carry clip, as well as some fairly heavily textured G10. Now, thinking of that pocket clip, let me show you. They've done a great job with those nice flush fitting screws. This is such an easy thing to get right, and I don't know why companies consistently mess it up, but it's nice to see Civivi doing this. I think I may have complained about this on a couple of Civivis before and probably others have. So uh, maybe I could be totally wrong. Maybe I'm making the whole thing up, but I think I've seen that before. Now, I do want to mention one other departure here. And we've kind of already hit on this, but this is a big knife, guys. Most of the Civivis that we've been kind of seeing have been a little bit smaller. Um, the, the, the initial offerings that they had, the Backlash and the Praxis and a few others, were, were fairly large, eight and a half inches or something like that. But this guy is a full nine inches. And I don't think, I could be wrong, uh, and you can correct me down in the comments if you've got, a, if you've got uh, an example, feel free. But I don't 
think they've had a nine inch knife before. So this guy is nine inches overall, three and 15 sixteenths on the blade length. So just a hair under four inches, five and three sixteenths on the handle length. All right, in terms of grip area, we're dealing with four and one eighth inches, a ton of grip area here. Uh, you would have to be an awfully big guy. I don't know what's on my finger there. I had a fire curl earlier today, so it's probably some gunk from that. Anyway, uh, very, very large handle, uh, lots and lots of real estate there, plus a very generous finger choil. Uh, and I like what I like about the way they've done this finger choil is they've given me a nice place to put my thumb here when I do choke up on the knife. All right, and that's kind of a thing for me. I've, I've had lots of knives where I like the finger choil, and I've had lots of knives, though, where you go to choke up, and you're like, well, there's nowhere to put my thumb up here. Uh, so they've done a nice job giving me sort of a little uh, thumb landing pad or whatever you want to call it there. Um, <clears throat> Very quickly, I'll show you that action one more time because it's very enjoyable. You can see drop shut very well. And Spidey Flick is really, really satisfying. Uh, I've got to say, um, I think they've done a really nice job on uh, the blade part, or the blade here, uh, giving you s nice and thin, it's something nice and thin behind the edge, uh, really attractive satin finish. And of course, uh, that hole uh, which, you know, could sort of serve just to lighten the blade a little bit. By the way, thinking of weight, we have 5.2 ounces, which is eh, reasonable for a 9-inch knife. I'm not really going to complain about that. But that lightning hole does allow me also to spider flick the knife, which is a lot of fun, and I really appreciate that. Okay, so what are my overall thoughts here? Well, you know, guys, if you know my preferences at all, you can probably guess. Uh, this is like most of EVs we've ha had on the channel. Let's show you the other side as well. Like most of EVs we've had on the channel. Um, the, the detent is right. The action is very enjoyable. Uh, so no big surprises there. The construction and quality is really, really good. Again, no surprises there. Um, the feel in hand is nice. And overall, guys, I think this is a really nice larger EDC. If you're like me and you like something a little bit bigger, I think you're really, really going to enjoy this guy. And of course, you know, Civivi tends to do it all for a fairly reasonable price point. This guy, I think, goes for $60 or something like that. Uh, the same price as most of the standard D2 models. So pretty happy with this one, guys. I think Civivi has got a pretty nice option here. Uh, and boy, it's addictive to, to sit and flip this guy. It really, really is. And I love that blade shape. So that's my overall thoughts here. Yeah, it's a little big for some people, but if you like a larger knife the way I do, uh, then I think you're probably really going to appreciate the Vexor. This used to be, by the way, known as the linchpin. Uh, I don't even, I think I just called it the uh, formerly known as the linchpin and forgot to tell you co totally about the real name now, which is the Vexor, but that'll be in the title screen anyway, so it'll be hard to mess that one up. All right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And of course, don't forget to check out Southern Edge Knife Works. I We'll put a link in the description. Use that discount code. It lets them know that I sent you over there. Thanks a lot. We'll talk to you soon.